I am Dolly Bingbing. I'm a solo pop project. I call myself a glamorous alien pop star. I sing and I dance, and I have um, dancers who join me to make like beautiful shows. It evolved from more experimental um, electronic pop to uh, stadium pop or pop that wants to reach like a big audience and um, wants to be hit music. Dolly somehow as a figure, um, she was a solution to bring all my different um, talents together. Uh, I invented Dolly um, also to uh, overcome something horrible that happened in my life. My husband, he um, got very ill and uh, I had to take care of him and I wanted to be a superwoman for him. I think my song Eat Me and it is a very, um, it's an ambiguous song, it's, it, the lyrics are very intense. I sing like, eat me, beat me, rape me, but I sing it like with a very sweet, angelic voice. So this contrast of this sugary voice with the very hard text is something that grew out of my own experiences to deal with death and to deal with the sickness of my husband. I think actually my very first concert ever as Dolly was the opening of the art season in uh, Ghent by um, Kunstencentrum Vooruit. And they immediately gave me a big stage um, and I could do a full show. Since then I try not to go for less, but always for more or for that same standard. I lost my virginity on the stage as Dolly, so to speak. Um, so that was very special. I think it was actually um, the album by Justin Timberlake, I think it's called Justified, where he has the song Cry Me a River. I was, I think, like 13 years old, something like that. I think maybe it's my latest song, Kusha, because it's a new step, um, because I evolved from yeah, my first steps into the music world to um, this whole idea that I want to conquer the world as a pop star. The whole style of the music video and thinking about the structure and the, of the song is something, yeah, it all comes from me and from my vision. I'm proud of that. One of my biggest inspirations was David Bowie, who also used his own body as a, an entire expressive tool and who invented a style and who reinvented himself in different personas. So I would love to do something with <laughs> David Bowie. We should be learning when we're locked away from everything that we should be grateful for what we still have and what we already had. Trying to be happy with um, the small things it sounds like a very simple advice, but it's not easy to do it. So I think if you can do it, you will be a very happy person. Yeah. Yeah, I feel extremely grateful and excited also, like um, that I can show who I am, what I do, and I hope to inspire other people with that. And at the same time, I'm very curious to discover the other talents. There's nothing more exciting than interacting and seeing what other people do. I'm just very honored. <laughs>